Hi, my name is Archana and I'm an Applications Engineer at Cypress Semiconductors. This video explains the correlated double sampling for DC offset cancellation and low frequency noise reduction. This video is based on application node 66444 and is also applicable to application node 2226. Correlated double sampling is a signal processing technique that you can use to reduce the low frequency noise, referred to as 1 or F noise. This is added to the signal by the signal path. The signal path can be amplifiers, buffers, ADCs or others. The 1 over F noise is inherent to any semiconductor device and cannot be eliminated. Only the effect on the signal can be reduced. CDS acts similar to a high pass filter for this low frequency noise. The effect of CDS is highest for the extremely low frequency signals and thus it eliminates the DC offset completely. You can use CDS when the input signal changes very slowly. CDS is based on taking two samples, one of the signal and the second of a reference with a delay between the two. The delay is to isolate the noise and offset from the signal. The signal is required to be constant between the two samples and is thus applicable to slow changing signals that can be assumed constant for a short duration. To understand the CDS technique, consider the offset and noise added by the amplifier in this figure to the signal and reference. The signal is represented by V signal and the reference is represented by V ref. The reference is most commonly the ground of the system. As you can notice, the noise and offset get added to signal and reference at time T1 and T2 respectively. To obtain the correlated double sampled signal, the V out at T1 and T2 are subtracted. The offset and the signal remain constant and thus the offset gets cancelled and the uh, signal passes through unaffected. The low frequency noise is not a constant and thus shows up as a difference between the noise samples at T1 and T2. Assuming VREF is ground, the frequency domain equivalent of the output obtained after CDS is shown in this equation. This shows that CDS passes the signal unaffected while it acts as a high pass filter for noise. The frequency domain representation is shown in graphical format here. The implementation of CDS can either be in hardware or firmware and this video shows you firmware method. CDS technique or its implementation is not system specific. It can be applied to PSOC 1, 3 or 5 and this video is valid for both application node 2226 for PSOC 1 and application node 66444 for PSOC 3 and 5. The figures shown in future slides are for Rappi SOC 3 and 5 of application node 66444. The firmware implementation involves measuring the V signal at time T1 and V ref at time T2 by the ADC and then subtracting the two in firmware. The delay required for CDS is added by the switching speed of the MUX and the sampling frequency of ADC. The technique can be applied to both single-ended and differential ADC. PSOC 1 has only single-ended ADC and PSOC 3 and 5 feature both. The connections required for CDS with single-ended and differential ADCs in Creator are shown in these figures. In case of single-ended ADC, the CDS is helpful in eliminating both offset and noise. In a differential ADC, the offset is inherently eliminated by the differential signal itself and the CDS is used only when low frequency noise reduction is required. To reduce high frequency noise of the signal, CDS technique can be followed by an IAR filter, the details of which are provided in application note 2099. The firmware code implementation for CDS is very simple and is shown here. It involves taking two ADC samples and then subtracting the two of them as shown here. This video shows how you can easily incorporate CDS technique into your design 
with negligible overhead of resources or code space. It is very useful when you are measuring small signals that change very slowly and it eliminates DC offset and reduces low frequency noise. The related documents are, as mentioned earlier, are Application Note 66444 and Application Note 2226. Thank you for watching the video.